Good morning, YouTube. Today we're making a ham and noodle casserole that is so simple but loaded with flavor. Easy peasy and absolutely delicious. Let's cook, y'all. We've got a family to feed. All right, let's throw this together. <clears throat> we want something delicious, but we don't want to work too hard. And this is how we're gonna do it. I'm gonna try to work in this big shallow dish so that y'all can see what I'm, what I'm doing. I'm not sure how that's gonna work, but we'll figure it out. All right, so I have about three quarters of a cup of sour cream, one can of cream of mushroom soup, and this is a white onion that I, I diced up. And this casserole was so easy. <laughs> this really is just kind of like dump it all in there, right? Somebody had asked me the other day if I could do a dump cake, which I hate the name, but my gosh, they tend to be delicious. All right, so stirring that together, and to that, we have our leftover ham. This is about, mm, it's not quite three cups. I'm gonna call it two and a half. You know what, if you've got two cups, great. If you've got three cups, great. Don't knock yourself out. This is um, how we're using up some of our leftovers from Easter. But you can do this after Christmas, after Thanksgiving. Anytime you've got a giant ham sitting around and you don't know what to do with all of it, this is what you do. All right, so about a cup and a half of frozen peas. And these, nah, I let them sit on the counter. They're not really defrosted. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. And we just keep stirring. Now, everything in here is fully cooked. So, while cold frozen peas are not my favorite, I am going to taste and look for salt and pepper. Yep, we need some. Not a ton, but you need some. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be so good. All right, so let's find our pepper. So let's give it, I'm calling this two teaspoons of black pepper. And I'm gonna call it the same for our kosher salt. You don't want to, whoop, come <laughs> on. Don't do that. Way too much, okay. Not too, too much because the soup, the condensed soup has salt in it, a lot of salt. And the um, ham is, can be salty. So kind of be judicious. And this is a good example. I tell people all the time to taste raw ingredients as long as there's no safety issue. The more you get used to tasting and determining what things taste like at the beginning, you'll know better how to season your food throughout the process. All right, so this is eight ounces of egg noodles that I boiled and drained and they've just been sitting here. So boom. This is where, did they all stick together? Yep, that's all right, they'll come apart. And then over here, I've got a nine by 13 casserole dish that I buttered really well. Probably a good tablespoon of butter. I used, oh my goodness, the wind is blowing hard. <laughs> a big tree branch just came down. And my phone's ringing. It's my sister-in-law, I'll call her right back. Anyway, good tablespoon of butter in our casserole dish. See, really well covered. And we are going to <laughs> pick up this giant bowl. And this is going right in here. Wow. Normally I drop, I drop half of it in the counter. <laughs> I love doing this today because tonight I don't want to have to do anything because it is the season eight premiere of Game of Thrones. So I'm off duty, primarily. All right, so an eight ounce, eight, oun <laughs> eight ounces of cheese. Now, use what you like. I like Swiss. This is Gouda. You can use cheddar, um, but I really think Swiss or Gouda Emmentaler would be great. 
Um, although you might spend a little too much if you're working with Emmentaler. Um, the Swiss is delicious and you can get the cheap old Swiss in the package and just grate it up. It's great. And then half a cup of just breadcrumbs, just dry breadcrumbs right over the top. And I have an oven preheated to 350 degrees. And this is gonna go right in that hot oven. And I will show you what it looks like when we're done. Okay, how long was that? That was five minutes, y'all. That's how long it took us to put that together. Not bad, huh? All right, into the oven we go. All right, perfect. We've had 40 minutes. Oh yeah. That is exactly right. Got the whole golden brown and delicious thing happening. See? We're all bubbly at the edges. There's a bubble. <laughs> Joey, you're right. It is pretty windy out there. There have been storms all across the south. Pretty big ones. And theoretically, thanks buddy, theoretically they're moving out of the deep south, which means they're heading our way up in the Appalachians. We are in East Tennessee. So, uh, Tennessee, baby. <laughs> please, please don't do that. <laughs> that was awful. <laughs> All right, so let's see how we did. We are hunkering in for a windy night. But it's gonna be perfect, Joey. New Game of Thrones is coming tonight. But you'll be in bed, so sorry. <laughs> oh man, this smells amazing. This is perfect. All right, there we go. There we go. Dun, dun, dun. I love when um, you do a casserole, a noodle, ca noodle, noodle casserole, and you've got the pasta that gets crunchy. Mmm. It's just like um, the crunchy bit of the lasagna that sticks up at the corners. Yep. All right, so let's come in here. Let's see how we're doing. Let's get a little bit of everything. So I've got a noodle, I've got creamy sauce, I've got cheese, I've got ham, I've got got a pee. <laughs> Ma'am. That's better than a good idea right there. Mm. This is worth making a whole ham for just so you'll be able to make this casserole. That's how good that is right there. Mm. Cheesy ham and noodle casserole. That's what you do with leftovers. Mm -hmm. Hey YouTube, thanks for watching. And if you thought that video was helpful, do me a huge favor. Hit like, hit subscribe, hit the little bell so you get a notification whenever I post a new video. And if you have a second, hop on over to Patreon and check out how to support my channel even more. Again, thanks for watching.